So I wanted to release this video just before I'm going off to uh, Paris to watch the Champions League final between Liverpool and Real Madrid. So it's going to be taking in the atmosphere. Don't think I'll get into the stadium, but uh, I just wanted to see what it's like in Paris and taking the atmosphere. And it's going to be a fantastic event, to be honest with you. So I just want to get this video in before I go. And I want to talk about how you're slowing yourself down you are slowing yourself down. So when you actually had a disappointing race um, in your first race of the season or the first couple of races of the season, you want to think about the fact that you've, if you've been training consistently throughout the winter, you've been doing a lot of training. And even if you've had the odd injury here and there and you've just had some break, maybe a month here and there, you are fit enough. You've done enough training. But if you have a disappointing race, it's because you're not allowing yourself to perform and you're slowing yourself down by the pressure you're putting on yourself. Now, when you do your, if you think back to your fastest race, you'll, you'll remember that before the race, it was a different feeling. During the race, if you can remember it, because a lot of times you can't remember the fastest race, but if you can remember your fastest race, it was a different feeling, okay? It was a feeling of you were loose, you were allowing your body to perform, and you weren't putting pressure on yourself. So you were just, your body was just doing what it was what it needed to be done to run fast and was focused as well so whenever you have a disappointing race you you may have started the season disappointing had a couple of races it's you that's slowing yourself down by the pressure you're putting on yourself by saying i should run fast i've done all the training that means i've done all the training that means i'll run fast no you have to go i will run fast or visualize the end goal achieved and say I will run fast I will run fast not I should because I've done all the training the training's useful but it's not it's it's, it's not the it's not the end story it's not the complete package on the moment of the start line on this the, the, the moment you're on the start line that's what matters during the race how you feel that matters so you need to think about the pressure you put on yourself and just say so what's your nerves I just appreciate the nerves there because they're going to come up because you care about racing. You are there. You've done all the training. You care about racing. You care about racing. And if you care about racing, you're going to have nerves. And the nerves are going to come up. The nerves aren't you. You need to actually look at it, appreciate them, say so what to your nerves, and just be comfortable in the fact you're going to run bloody fast. You're going to run really fast. And know it. And once you have that kind of mentality, then you will run fast and you're not putting pressure on yourself. You're actually not because you know it's going to happen. When you actually say, I should run fast, that's you putting pressure on yourself. I should run fast because I've done all the training. Well, no, I will. And it's a different kind of, a, a different kind of feeling and a different kind of mentality when you say that. And you're comfortable with the nerves coming up. You're comfortable. You're saying, OK, that's fair enough. I've got nerves. I'm going to use them to my uh, to my ability. This race is going to be awesome. So you need to actually look at it as the fact that you are slowing yourself down in your bad races. If you have a bad race, you've done all the training, you are slowing yourself down. You've got much more potential inside of you. And you need to release yourself of the baggage and allow your body to do what it's, it's supposed to do. The best thing to do is to, one of the best ways is a different mentality is to release your body is just to breathe Say so what to your nerves. Be comfortable with your nerves being there. And as I said before, and I repeat myself, appreciate they're there. And embrace them. And you will start to perform. That is the best way to bring about relaxation. So hopefully that video is, is beneficial. It's, it's taking a different point of view from your bad races. Your bad races are because you are slowing yourself down. And you need to release. You have the potential, the speed inside you already. It's just the pressure you put on yourself is actually slowing you down and making you tight. Just leave me say, like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Definitely please subscribe if you haven't already done so, because it's really important that you get this information. And obviously share this video amongst your, your other athletes as well, your colleagues, your training colleagues. And see you in the next video.